I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works for You. The rise in COVID-19 cases prompting more cities to mandate masks in public now. Here in Oklahoma, the state health department reporting a record number of deaths in a single day this afternoon. That number, 26 people dead from COVID-19. The state's death toll now sitting at 1,570. The OSDH also reporting more than 3,000 new cases today. That brings the state's total case count since March to more than 161,000. Now, to per put that in perspective for you, the approximate population of Broken Arrow is just over 109,000 people, and the city of Tulsa's population is estimated around 400 thousand people and a longtime Tulsa dispatcher has lost their battle with COVID-19 this morning Tulsa Fire and Tulsa Police posting on social media that 911 dispatcher Joey Phillips died due to COVID-19 complications he was a Tulsa dispatcher for more than 23 years meanwhile Owasso City Council is now strongly encouraging people in the city to wear masks in the resolution counselors passed last night five to zero it's not necessarily an official mask mandate but within the resolution it pledges to support property owners and businesses who require masks. Now let's get a quick check of that forecast. Hi Aaron, high fire danger today with gusty winds and low humidity. Those gusts upwards of 35 to 40, the humidity down to between 25 and 30 percent. High temperatures into the 70s all the way through Friday. Another windy day tomorrow, but I think the fire danger won't be as high tomorrow on your Thursday. An increasing chance of rain showers finally on Saturday. Upper 60s, temperatures fall through the day on Sunday. And then Thanksgiving looks pretty warm, Aaron, at 70. All right. Thank you, Brandon. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works For You for the latest. I'm Erin Conrad. Two Works For You.